Last week in social studies, we talked about the rights and uh, laws that are in our nation for citizens. And today we're gonna talk a little bit about why is being a good citizen important? All right, so citizens of the United States have basic rights given to them by the US Constitution. And if you remember from last week, it's in those first 10 rights, uh, which is called the Bill of Rights. All right, so within those 10 uh, amendments to the Constitution, we call those the Bill of Rights, and they list the rights of citizens, okay? So we gave some examples last week. We're gonna review them again today. Uh, the first one is the freedom of speech, meaning you can say what you'd like and have opinions about what you like without fear of having to go to jail because you disagree with someone in the, in the government. That's called freedom of speech. Something else we have in the U.S. is called freedom of religion, which we talked about last week, where you can belong to different types of religions. Here's a place of worship here. There's many types. Um, without being oppressed by the government. The government cannot arrest you because you don't believe in the same religion that perhaps maybe the president does. That's not allowed. And another uh, right we didn't talk about, it's called freedom of the press. Um, and that doesn't mean that someone can't press you. That means that the press is um, news and media. So if a newspaper decides to run a story that goes against what a congresswoman uh, agrees with, that's allowed. Even though the congresswoman might not like it, the newspaper is still allowed to print those articles. Okay, so when we say freedom of the press, we mean this. Okay, the newspapers, online sources of news, etc. Okay, so if those are the rights of citizens, that's great, but they also have responsibilities. Okay, you don't just get to enjoy those things without giving something back to the community. So citizens have responsibilities. Citizens need to vote, all right? So here are some citizens here voting in a voting booth. We're all gonna be voting. Uh, citizens will be voting in November, hopefully. Um, citizens should pay taxes, okay? Well, some of you are probably wondering exactly what does that mean? What's a tax? Well, if we look down here, a tax is money collected by the government to pay for services in your community. For example, roads, schools, police, fire, water, uh, certain utilities, those are provided by the government because people pay taxes. And if you don't pay your taxes, then the government can't afford to give those services to the community. So good citizens will pay their taxes. They will also serve on juries. That means that if you perhaps break a law, or you're accused of breaking a law, there might be a trial. And these people here are serving on a jury. They're listening to the arguments to determine if the person should be punished for the crime they're accused. Maybe they're punished, maybe they're not, but if you serve on a jury, you get to be part of that decision making. That's something that citizens need to do. And you might hear your parents talk about it. it's called jury duty. Some people view it as kind of a pain, but it's really important because what if you are accused of a crime you would want people to be on your jury to maybe help you not serve as long of a sentence or, or prove that you are innocent. Another thing that citizens should do that they should be responsible for is volunteering. Okay, volunteering means giving your time without being uh, the expectation that you're gonna be paid. So for example, here's someone volunteering to become or to work in the crosswalk. And we have some wonderful volunteers doing that here at, uh, at Ardenwood when we're normally in session. Here's some volunteers getting people to sign a petition to maybe change the law. And here's just one more view of that jury. Here's an attorney here, and he's trying to convince the people on the jury that somebody is guilty or innocent. And these people are listening because they're trying to decide something very serious, okay? So becoming a citizen and being a citizen, is a, it's an important job. It's not something that someone can just kind of forget. You really have to work hard to keep the community working. We need good citizens to do that. So now that you've learned a little bit about that, we'd like you to read pages 90 to 92 in your social studies book and answer question one, two, and three on pages 90 and 91, and then questions one, two, and three on page 92.